Whilst Barry Doan may have lived under Barul, we know that our Manx poet, T.E. Brown, enjoyed walking over Barul in his retirement. Anne Crane will tell us some more. Thomas Edward Brown, the Manx national poet, who published a wealth of narrative poems in the Manx dialect, reflecting the Manx way of life, was married to his cousin, Amelia Stoll of Ramsey, at Kirkmackled in 1857. A copy of their wedding certificate is on display at the church. Their first child, Annie, born in 1859, and who died at only three months, is buried there among the family graves. He taught across the water, where he became headmaster of Clifton College, Bristol, until his retirement in 1892. <coughs> During his career, he made there many visits to the island on holiday, observing and recording his poems, its people and places. An academic who achieved a double first at Oxford, he could also identify with digging with a greh or watching the creepy crawlies on the hay cart. Many Manx children learnt some T.E. Brown at school, his poem Betsy Lee recalling the wonder of childhood, the beauty of a thing when children play is, the terrible, wonderful length the days is, and it's very pleasing to see that our children at the Dune School are still learning that passage of T. Brown and it's been illustrated for us in the hall tonight. T. Brown <coughs> retired to Ramsey, his home above the Murick Park, where he enjoyed walks and train rides in the north of the island. He wrote to his old friend, Graham Dakins, of his walks to Balaglass Glen, over Barul and to Mackles, a special place for Brown. We may be able to discern from one of his letters his intention or hope to be buried here. On 9th October, 1893, he imagines, when the hearse creeps up to St. Mackled, the sow taking an easy seat up on the cairn, I'll just think on it, cooling myself after me hot struggles on them nice, cow stones that looks one way to Barul and another to Black Coon. He was taken ill suddenly on a return visit to Clifton where he died and was buried in Bristol. It's fitting therefore that his words which convey such deep feeling for the island and we can imagine our own parish are displayed on a stone at Charlie's View a memorial place for Sir Charles Carouche, which looks out towards Mackled Head and Gravestones Graveyard, and where you can also see an example of contemporary Manx sculpture in the form of Odin's ravens created by Stephanie Quayle. The words on the stone are an extract from Brown's Epistola at Dakins, where Brown describes the island as one of three places that he wants Dakins to visit when he is dead. A little island in the sea, a body for my needs that so I may not all unclothed go. A vital instrument whereby I still may commune with the sky when death has loosed the plaited strands and left me feeling for the lands. Even now, between its simple poles, it has the soul of all my souls. But then, whatever I have been, whatever felt, whatever seen, whatever guessed or understood, the tones of right, the tints of good, the loves, the hates, the hopes, the fears, the gathered strength of all my years, all that my life has in me wrought of complex essence shall be brought and wedded to those primal forms that have their scope in calms and storms, attuned to the swells and falls of nature's holy intervals. No need from point to point to press and swell the growing consciousness. But in a moment I shall sit, speared in the very heart of it, 
and every hill from me shall shoot and spread as from a central root and every crag and every spur to me this attitude refer and I shall be the living heart and I shall live in every part. <laughs>